Sunday bear got a long time no see I needed a rest I needed a mental rest a physical rest and everything in between how has your month been so far did y'all have a crazy January <laughs> my January was all jacked up okay but I want to do a reading today I want to put out a few since I'm a little bit behind um, but I know you've heard of uh, Yala Van Zant, okay, Acts of Faith, uh, daily med meditations for people of color, but you know, in this case, it's for anybody who resonates. Okay, I'm going to read today, which is February the 4th. The ancients knew the connection between man and the divine. They knew that buried beneath the personality, perceptions, and self-imposed limitations, there lies a spirit of unlimited possibility. They knew that you chose with your thoughts the shape and form of your life. You create with your words and the conditions that you will face. You limit with your fear the coming forth of your desires. You destroy with your blame the direction of your destiny. The ancient ones knew that only the diligent maintenance of the mind and emotions with man faster his fate. The ancient ones knew that only the, with diligent maintenance of the mind and emotions with man master his fate. Okay, Because the blood of the ancient ones run through, through your veins, you have the same knowledge. You have the ability to be what you want in the place you may choose. Simply follow the divine prescription for unfettered success. Begin with them. Okay, Virgo, begin with them. I am the beginning of my end. And what should you reflect on? Begin with them and focus on your divine spirit. Who do you choose to be and where do you want to express it? Who do you choose to be and where do you want to express it? So today, this reading is going to be a message from your ancient ones. Okay, a message from your ancient ones. Let's get the message. Virgo's ancient ones, please. What do they want to hear? And I know that Kanisha Holman, she won the the Watch to the End contest. So thank you so much for waiting. I know it's been a minute, but as you just heard, I've been going through a hectic last few days, and I appreciate you for being patient. I'm gonna have that that free reading out to you today. Okay. Thank you so much for being patient. All right, Kanisha. All right. Message from your ancient ones, Virgo. Strength. It's all about what you see when you look in the mirror. You may not think you have the strength or the power or the skill level to move forward, but you do. The strength is already there. And it's like you look in the mirror, but you don't see your strength. You don't see how strong you truly are. Okay. And I'm also hearing how radiant you are. You glow to other people. People see something within you that you don't or that you fail to see within yourselves. Okay. And I feel like sometimes you, you, you care too much about what people think of you. Okay, so you got to remember you are beyond that. You're, you're not as densely populated in your feelings and emotions as you may think. You're bearing too much emotions and feelings based on what other people have said about you, based on the things that you have heard, uh, what you have seen. It, it basically, I'm feeling like, you know, people said this or said that, bullied you, whatever the situation was, and you believed it. You don't know how, how inferior that has made you feel. Maybe you have. Maybe uh, that's why you have been so stuck in your life, okay, based on the perceptions that people have, have put before you. And that's all you see. You don't see the strength. You don't see the beauty. You don't see how colorful you are, how amazing you are. I'm hearing how amazingly talented you are because they said that you weren't this or you would never be this. Or they bullied you, talked about you, dogged you, did you dirty. And that's all you see. You don't see the goodness inside of you, all right? We have the Ace of Swords, and you, you've really hidden yourself under a barrel. Excuse the nails. I haven't even had the energy to go get them done. I'm not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> but it's been a tough week. I'm, I mean, you all, some things have happened there, especially at work. But um, you've been maybe dealing with some confrontations with, with evil, shitty-ass people. you got to find a way to move beyond it, okay? we got the Ace of Swords, and we got the Hermit. You're shutting yourself down, okay? And... I don't know why you're doing this. You know, everybody has a different level, whatever it is they're going through. You know, different things have taken place in your life, but but you are hiding behind that hurt and that pain. It's like the strength is there. You don't see it. But for whatever reason, you're not allowing this light inside of you to move forward. You're, you're just being stuck. Your light is there. People see your growth. People see that glow, but you don't. But it's right there in front of you. But you see, all you see is the darkness. And I feel like it's, it's really making you shut down. And hide your true self because of what people have said, what people have said and done to you. The bullies, the family members, the jealous family members, the jealous parent or parents, take it how it resonates, have really shut you down. You've closed yourself within, you close yourself in a shell. And it's like, hello, Virgo, 
You won't even answer. Not even to spirit. Okay. Maybe because you're afraid. Maybe because you don't know how. All right. Or you don't know how you're going to get past this. Or do you feel that uh, this is an opportunity for you to stay stuck? Maybe you just are comfortable where you are. You've come to the point to where I'm not going to let anything bother me. I'm not going to... Um, let whatever hinder me from moving forward. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I just like me. I like the comfort zone that I have created for myself and, and how I shut myself down. Some of you, or should I say some of us spend much, much too, uh, too much time alone. Okay. Um, you ever thought about maybe just hanging out with somebody, just going out, you know, you know, even if it's to a movie or, or walking in the park or something, you know, just something that's going to clear you, clear your head, you know, about moving forth and not being afraid to. But I don't think you see your own strength. Um, excuse me. I think um, Whitney Houston, I didn't know my own strength. You don't know your own strength. OK, because people told you didn't have any. They didn't say, oh, Virgo, you're not a strength. You don't have the strength, the power. It's what they said. You did you this. You're too fat. You're too ugly. You're too thin. You got pimples on your face. You need to do this. You need to do that. They told you everything that you couldn't do and you believed it. All right. Um, I have the temperance card. The father of wands. Nasty things being said to you. You know, um, hurtful things have been said to you. A lot of um, just angry, I mean, angriness, you know, uh, uh, situations that you found yourself in based on the power of the tongue. People have, you know, I've, I've said sometimes to you before in the past to watch your tone. It's not only for you, though, you know, really, you've been through some stuff in your life, some unbelievable ish that people have taken you through. Family members, especially, could be the worst when it comes to um, your feelings, when it comes to how you feel about yourself, you know, and that's bad, you know, when. When your own family tell you you ain't ish, you know, when they say it and it's fine, it, you're finding it hard to believe that you're anything other than what they said you were, than what they claimed you were. And that's in a negative light. Uh, and you believe that darkness, you believe it because you lived it for so long. OK, but that's that you focus on that a lot, too. Uh, even when you're alone, uh, why why can't I find the perfect mate or why can't I spend time, quality time with my children? Why can't I? treat my children a certain way the way I said I wasn't going to talk to them or treat them this is exactly what I'm doing why because you're a product of your environment it's not like you're doing it on purpose that's all you know all right but I feel like you are passing up your greatest potential by just being quiet by not saying anything by um, not allowing your true character to come forth um, because they told you you couldn't you've lived a life a sheltered life pretty much like I said you're in hermit trying to reflect trying to figure out uh, even have some memories that were that you didn't remember. It's like, boom, you're, you're, you don't remember your childhood. You don't remember certain things because of what you've been through in your life. And you know, uh, that's the, that's the powerful way of healing. Okay. That's the powerful way of, um, dealing with that. You know, we have to find a way to, to heal, to move forward. We have judgment and we have here the father of ones, which is, you know, I just feel like whoever it was, it could be a female, a male or whatever, uh, say it's some real pitiful, hurtful things to you and it's stuck with you for a long, long time. But this is your movement out of this. I feel like you are turning your back, but you're exactly turning your back on that past, but you still don't know how to heal from it. You're still remembering some things that took place in your life. Okay. It's going to be with you always, but how do you, how do you deal with it thus for how do you move forward? You know, um, we got the cycles are changing a new life for you, a new journey. But that journey begins with them. It's like you have a whole world ahead of you. All right. And you don't know your own strength. You don't know how powerful you really can be, how powerful you've been. So up to this point, you've taken so much in your life. You've taken a lot off of people, a lot of BS, a lot, a lot of negativity, a lot of hurtful things, you know. Um, but you got to remember it's time to move on. And, and the best way you can do that is get to know you all over again. It may take some therapy. It may be you, you know, talking to people, you know, uh, finding somebody a confidant. Or if not, you know, find a therapist or somebody who you can really tell your story to, who you can share yourself with. All right. It's moving on. It's not allowing this to to hinder you any farther. It's like, you know, you have this new start here, you know. And in the thick of it, in the big picture, you say, you know what, I've, I've been through some hurtful things with uh, my family member with being, you know, raised by a single parent. It was hard for them and, and they couldn't see the true me. I blame for things I didn't do. I got called out my name. This is you 
saying, you know what? My life as a whole was all effed up. Okay. It was all effed up. And now I don't know what to do next. All right. Here we have the eight of pentacles. This is you finding your, yourself working on yourself, coming out of everything that you have been through, everything that you have seen, everything that a, a younger child, your, your younger self should have never seen or experienced what you, but you did. So you're tied up in a web of deceit, of hurt of anger, okay, of even lust, you know, from things that took place in your life, you know, how can I get past this, what, you know, this is an opportunity for you to see a whole new world, you know, it's what you weave now that's important, it's this the web that you weave, not the web that was weaved around you when you were young, or this kept you stuck and stagnant, now it's time for you to weave your own web of, of love, of trust, of honor, of strength, most, most, for, and first and foremost, okay, where do you find yourself in this new place? Okay, weaving your own web of self love, okay, of strength, of power. You got that, all right? You got this, the but you know, you got to believe it. We got lovers, and we have the father of cups. I just think that you've been through some relationships before in your past, and, and it's all based on hurtful relationships, hurtful love relationships, physical, sexual relationships, um, that we just passed 11, 11, you've been through situations and relationships where you thought that they were your soulmate, when you thought that they were the ace coon boon and one you're going to spend the rest of your life with, but they left you to be with somebody else and they, else and they shattered you. All right. And, but I feel like this father of cups energy is yours, but cause you love and you love hard and that's, that's okay. You're who you are meant to be, but you've always end up getting hurt that's in the source you've always ended up giving your your soul your heart everything else included with this person no matter who you were with spent your time with and they've always ended up dog and they've always ended up dogging you out okay but now it's it's your turn to move on from this to say you know what i'm better than this all right i can move on from this but how do i start one day at a time one day at a time something about i'm hearing something about you writing in a journal Okay, writing down the things that took that took place in your past, uh, where you want your life to be in the near future, not like five or ten years from now or whatever. I'm hearing in the near future. Where do you want your life to be in three to four months? Are you gonna find yourself healing? Are you gonna realize that strength has already been there? You never realized, you never knew your own strength, but it's always been there. Okay. And it's time to temper this. It's time to say, you know what, I deserve better. I deserve to reconcile inside my head what this person said to me or what this person did to me when I was younger. I know I'm not in that life anymore. I know that I am past that, but why can't I get that out of my head? Why can't I move on inside my head? Okay. How come I keep living inside myself thinking about what took place in my childhood? Why can't I change that? Okay. It's going to find a message. Virgos, your ancestors, what's your final message? There's two. I have sensitivity and I have leadership. Okay. The life that you've lived has left you very sensitive to the words that people say, even to today. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. I feel like the energy that's been surrounding you most of your life is you care too much what people say and think about you. That's why you keep yourself hidden that's why you are the hermit the proverbial hermit you hide behind all of that but in your process of you hiding it's time for you to seek within it's time for you to move on from that which has held you back all of this time virgo and it's hurt is what people have said it's the power of their tongue possibly yours but more more than likely theirs you got to get to a point where you're standing up for yourself physically mentally or emotionally and it's left you stuck i have leadership it's, it's even taking it it's even taking the leadership role away from you is hindering you from, from standing up and being who you truly are, a strong leader. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. I don't care if it's with tarot. I don't care if it's with mediumship. I don't care if it's at, at a job, you know, understanding that people see your strength. People see that glow. People see everything about you positively that you don't see. You focus on the negative of what other people see it. Okay. And that's the one thing that's going to always hold you back. You got to understand, look in the mirror and see how, uh, how stunning and amazing you truly are. Not because of what they said you weren't, but, but because of what they also saw and see who you truly are. The leader. That's what made them say what they said. That's what made them do what they did because they, they wanted to snatch that leadership role out of you even from birth. But, but it's always been there. But you have to be the one to see it, Virgo. You have to be the one to say, you know what? I can be the leader in my own life. I have the strength that I never knew I had. 
You got to know that you've been stronger always than you've given yourself credit for. You've just never realized how strong you are. You know, you never realize your own strength. I hope you do now.